Tomáš Soli, uh, who is a project manager for investments into startups uh, at Czech Invest, and he will introduce the options of support for new startups and spin offs at this uh, agency. So please, Tomáš. Uh, so thank you very much. Good afternoon. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for the invitation. I'm, uh, I'm happy to speak in, in front of you. Uh, it seems that uh, I'm the last person to, to speak today and looking at the clock, I'm sure that uh, at least half of you are already looking forward to lunch. So I try to squeeze my presentation within the uh, limited time. Uh, so first, uh, first of all, let me, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Thomas Solik, as mentioned at the beginning, uh, and I'm the project manager of uh, program Checklink Startup. Uh, for now, I skip the introduction of the program itself. Uh, so I will get there later on in my presentation. It has now been uh, roughly 10 years, maybe slightly more, since Chicken was started to cooperate with startups through the, their first uh, acceleration program. Uh, I've been told that uh, at that time, from 2010, we were the first one and the only acceleration program that was capable of taking startups abroad. Uh, since then, obviously, uh, uh, the Czech uh, ecosystem has significantly improved. Uh, there, uh, there are many key players that uh, help startups to to build their business, to expand abroad, on or of course uh, to organize or invest in them. Uh, it's definitely worth mentioning uh, that the key players or the twin key players uh, are JIC, Impact Hub, Startup Yard, and and many others. Uh, for example, in 2017, there was. Uh, as a first incubator based on AI established in Czech Republic as well. So uh, now I'm getting uh, to the main point of my presentation, and it is uh, how does actually Czech Invest exactly help the startups? Uh, there are a lot of activities where we are involved in, uh, and uh, it, I would need way more time to, to present all of them. So I try to squeeze them into two main groups. So the first, uh, the first group would be what I called uh, event, our events, uh, which uh, throughout the year, uh, Czech Invest uh, either organized or is a part of uh, quite a big events. So roughly name it and introduce, uh, usually once in a month or once in a two month, we organize a business, online business shakers, which are uh, the workshops uh, led by uh, professionals and uh, professional speakers who uh, explain uh, and present uh, the the topic that uh, uh, startups needs to uh, help with. So the latest topic was uh, was focusing on financing and then how to prepare financial plans. Uh, we also prepare uh, our own uh, startup competitions. So every every year in the December, uh, there is a possibility to to uh, compete in a checking the startup challenge. Uh, also, because uh, we are a state agency, uh, we have very close relationship with uh, embassies, UK, US, namely. Uh, so from time to time, we are invited also with uh, startups uh, to to attend the breakfast at embassy and and, and connect with uh, important people in there as well. The second group uh, of uh, activities, and I would say that these are the core activities or the core programs. Uh, are shown on this uh, this this program uh, on this this graph. So the first group, which are here, uh, are mainly for startups that are somewhere around pre-seed and 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 uh, and seed phase, uh, and it's so-called domestic support uh, for startups that are in slightly uh, developed uh, phase uh, and are ready to expand uh, internationally. Uh, we can obviously we have prepared three programs called Check Demo, Check Match, and Check uh, Accelerator. And also, uh, we have our own investor matching platform, Checklink Startup. So I will go briefly, very briefly, to to each each program and show you on the best best cases uh, how how that helped and what you can achieve. So the first program uh, was uh, is Esabic Prague. Uh, uh, it's a main goal of the program is uh, transfer the uh, technologies uh, and the space technologies to to patents into commercial use. There are two offices, one in Prague, uh, where we have uh, 22 startups, and then uh, one in Brno, led by GIC, where there is uh, should be, I think, around nine startups. 
Uh, if we move uh, slightly forward to our graph, we are getting to uh, cross the volley of death and uh, we are getting to program check starter. Uh, it's a seven month acceleration program uh, where we offer uh, up to 300 uh, mentoring hours for startups. Um, I would like to ask you, have you heard about startups Dim uh, if, if If no, uh, does anyone watch the TV document Fachmani? If that doesn't help, uh, let me introduce the startups who uh, entered our program in 2019. Uh, Wim of or Stavario, which, because they changed the name recently, uh, is, uh, is an application, it's a cloud application that allows uh, owners of the building company and investors uh, to control all aspects and phases of a building, a house or, or any building. Basically, it's a, something like online diary. Uh, and it, uh, the main key is to digitalize the uh, the main activity is to digitalize the building uh, building uh, area around area. So these startups uh, uh, entered the Kickstarter in 2019, uh, where uh, he needed really the, the mentoring. Uh, they used nearly all, uh, the whole amount of hours on mentoring. They were focusing on uh, customer targeting, the growth strategy. Uh, they really needed to help with uh, online campaigning. Uh, uh, so all of these centers, even though all of them were from different uh, field, they will try. They will uh, reach into to one common goal, and that that was the squeezing uh, the best from the from the product. Uh, just a story be behind it. Uh, I don't know if you heard about that uh, startups, but uh, Mr. Benedict, who is who is on the picture here, which you might not probably see properly. Uh, he is a married man, he has two kids, and he was so he spent 20 years uh, in, in a building, uh, building uh, and a construction. He owned his own company and uh, he was so bored and, and annoyed and tired of filling out the spreadsheet in Excel and, 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 and losing the, uh, the knowledge of where uh, what stage those uh, contracts are that he decided to uh, digitalize the uh, this this field and uh, uh, he was so convinced about this idea that he actually sold his house he has many two I think two or three properties so he sold his own house where he lived with wife and three children and they moved to small garden house to live uh, to live uh, behind the parents uh, uh, house. Uh, so in order he could uh, obtain uh, as much uh, his own cash as he could. Uh, it seems to be very, uh, very committed uh, action and uh, it is just a good question. How many of you would actually be able to do such a thing? Uh, nowadays, uh, after leaving the, uh, successfully leaving this, uh, the, the program to starter, uh, they received investment. Uh, I think around it was around 20 million Czech crowns to, to to boost their business and to digitalize. Uh, Mr. Vanesh uh, is now presenting in two uh, two TV shows. The first Fachmani I mentioned uh, earlier. The second was was in uh, in uh, Receptar Prima Napadu. Uh, they also uh, have now around 200 uh, clients who are uh, happy and using their their solution, and uh, for next year, they are, they, they, they are, he plans to expand to uh, to Germany. Well, let's move to 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 our next product. Uh, product sorry, uh, our next acceleration program uh, that is for startups that they would like to to expand. They would like to. They are ready to go abroad and and compare their solution with uh, uh, with international competition. Uh, I don't know if you heard about Sherry Europe. Uh, if not. Uh, it is one of the first prop tech uh, companies in Europe. They were established in 2015, and they were uh, actually they uh, applied for the for three programs: uh, Czech Accelerator, Czech Demo, and Czech Match. Uh, they were picked into Czech Accelerator in 2019. So they spent three months in New York when uh, our partner Venture Out was accelerating them. They were visiting uh, quite a lot of uh, tech day, tech conferences. Uh, they had the possibility to meet. With foreign expert mentors, so they were pitching in front of the investors, and uh, uh, that they opened their subsidiary as well within those three months. Uh, it was quite a successful uh, acceleration time because 
uh, they earned the contact. Uh, they were connected with one of the biggest development developers in Manhattan, and uh, uh, the la last year they successfully closed the business for second tallest uh, Manhattan skyscraper. Uh, what should you? What I didn't say so far is what they do. <laughs> Uh, they offer us a uh, very comprehensive solution for uh, building, for office building. Uh, their solution is an application that has four features. Uh, one feature is uh, building management. The, the other one is a tenant management, parking, uh, smart parking, and, and of course, uh, you can organize your, your visit. Uh, it is unique in a way that uh, uh, your visitors, for example, uh, you don't have to send them uh, special uh, emails and extra information. The system does it for you. Uh, they will receive QR code and small uh, card in, in their mobile phone. So when they arrive your building, the application or, uh, will exactly tell them where where they supposed to park, where is their parking spot. When they enter the lift, they don't even even touch the uh, those numbers because uh, the system already recognized them and uh, the lift automatically take them to the floor which they are supposed to uh, to end. Uh, so they all, of course, at the end of 2019, they uh, received an uh, investment, around 20 million Czech crown from uh, Czech VC fund to, to, to expand. So now uh, they are very focusing on, on, uh, on the USA and uh, they closed with the same developer contract for uh, other 22 high rise building so their solution will be used there as well this one, all right so here we go so we are moving to the next slide uh so our next uh startup uh who took advantage of the program check demo is called face up i don't know if you know them i, I believe so because they are from brno uh it's uh, three young guys who were students at high school when they started their business uh uh, what do they do? Their product is a uh, mobile web and mobile application for uh, anonymous anonymous uh, for anonymous reporting for students and and employees of the school for teachers. Uh, that uh, that uh, that tool should fight against the bullying and harassing cyber bullying and and others uh, others aspect that uh, kids has to face. Uh, three years uh, from the launching the website. Uh, their application uh, registered 1,800 schools and received 16,000 notification or announcement from the kids all over the world. Uh, they applied for Czech Demo and they uh, went with us to conference in Dubai, where they meet, where they met uh, a very interesting contact uh, who uh, give them feedback on their their business and ask them if they would like to scale their business to to a workplace to to look at this workplace to fight again mobbing and bossing and all those other uh, other things so they decided that they that's a really good idea and they they started to build uh, uh, extra features for for companies unfortunately uh corona crisis has hit uh earlier and uh, uh so so far they are in development stage but we will uh keep the fingers that they will complete their application because it, it has the potential uh interesting fact those uh those students uh were not even 17 when they uh set up their business so they must have been legally aged in order to uh to to set up the set up the business uh for other programs, we offer four main destination, but uh, which you, you can see on the picture, like Lisbon, uh, London, San Francisco. Check in with us also uh, third, uh, other nine uh, international uh, businesses and offices where uh, we are able to cooperate and connect startup with uh, with uh, with the partners. Uh, here, just uh, there is uh, another example of uh, of success stories and companies who. Who we help at some at certain level of their uh, their uh, their development. At last but not least, please uh, let me just briefly uh, introduce our platform checking startup, which I'm in charge of. Uh, it has been launched in 2019, and uh, it is a platform that where the main uh, target is to connect uh, domestic and foreign investors with the startups. 
uh, it is uh, start this service is for startup is for free and we have now more than 180 startups many of them uh, comes from our uh, program but it's also open for uh, uh, startups that has never uh, cooperated with check invest and they are looking for a uh, investment uh, as a check invest we also uh, are in the or we call ourselves as a as a central point of uh, uh the startup community uh we have uh, our official website that has been launched uh, uh as a partnership project with uh, ibm check ict alliance uh there's a website where you can find a lot of useful information you can find contacts on uh, on uh, investors uh you can find the contacts on uh, network and people who are uh, involved in uh, in a check startup ecosystem the new feature that we launched is a startup uh, interactive map where uh, you can just type whatever you're looking for. Are you looking for a 3D printers? Do you want to rent an office? Uh, are you looking for an incubator? Uh, you could find uh, a lot of partners in there and then and, and it's just up to you what you're looking for and I believe you will uh, you will find it, find it in the map. Uh, very interesting feature also is that uh, we try to monitor uh, the startup events through the Czech Republic, so uh, you can watch our events calendar and you can also I think, receive the uh, notification if there is an action you would like to attend to, so uh, we, we, we check in the flat for you. And if you're looking for investors and you, uh, it's the first time you are doing your own research, you don't know where to look for, uh, we have prepared the database of investor uh, where should be around for investors in for from different stages, uh, from business angels, crowdfunding, up to uh, up to uh, private capital and venture capital. All of these investors, uh, investors that are mentioned in our websites, uh, uh, are investors that uh, are known uh, and uh, they are cooperated with Check Invest, so we know about them. There are there should not be any unknown investors, or you shouldn't be worried about that. Of course. GDPR is a big uh, enemy, <laughs> so you will not find uh, contact uh, for uh, for the people. But uh, if you click, let's say for GMT, uh, and you click on the read more, it will take you to the website, and you can then obviously contact the GMT directly, or you can ask us to to connect you with uh, uh, with them. So that is probably my last point. What I uh, what I wanted to say uh, at the end, uh, I would like to say that if you have uh, any question, you can direct it to me. You can ask after the presentation, or you can just uh, uh, call me or send an email. Uh, I wish you good luck for those who are, will decide to to uh, step uh, into into startups or spin off area. Uh, uh, fingers crossed, and please, if if you feel uh, confident in your uh, in your idea or in your research, uh, don't keep it for yourself and and, and just uh, just try it. It definitely works. Thank you very much for for the presentation, and uh, feel free to ask.